This is Financially Fit Radio with Corey Sickles from Safe Harbor Retirement Group. When a part of your financial strategy is out of tune, your long-term goals, your retirement savings, and your legacy can all suffer. With many years of experience in the financial industry, Corey provides his clients and prospects with the information they need regarding Social Security, retirement income planning, wealth management, and much more. Listen in as we address your financial concerns and provide helpful solutions to put you on the path to achieving your retirement goals. And now, here is Financially Fit Radio with Corey Sickles. Hello and welcome back to Financially Fit Radio. My name is Corey Sickles from Safe Harbor Retirement Group and Wealth Advisors. If you'd like more information about what you hear during our show today, just give us a call at 614 760-0670 760-0670 or visit us online at safeharboroh.com. And while you're at our website, click on that radio page to check out past shows and to subscribe to our program on Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, Google Podcast, or Spotify. Also, feel free to visit our YouTube page by typing in Safe Harbor Retirement Group to watch videos on different financial topics. And please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have questions or if you want to set up a face-to-face or virtual meeting. And remember, all meetings are complimentary with no obligation. Well, today we're going to talk about something I think many of you will be interested in. And that is, what is the best way to be able to really plan for income in retirement? You know, what are some of the tips that we actually talk to a lot of our clients about? And I think it's going to be a good conversation. Um, It's one of the most important things. Everyone wants to know, what is my magic number? How much money do I need to save? And... uh, all that boils down to, and that is basically how much income you're going to need in retirement, not only today, but you know, even 10, 20, 30 years from now. But before we kind of dive into that topic, let me introduce to you my co-host this week and every week, and that's Tony Shore. Tony, how are you today? I'm doing great, Corey, and it's great to be here with you today. I'm excited about the show because solving for income in retirement, that's the trick, right? I mean, that's what people have a hard time figuring out and doing it in a way that's going to be uh, effective for them to make their money last. I I think that's the trick, and that's what's tough for people, and that's mainly what you do for your clients. And so I'm excited about today's show. I've had a great week. I've just been busy uh, doing some spring cleaning. How about you? What have you been doing this past week? You know, Tony, this is, you know, great time of the year. You know, March March Madness, and I don't think you can actually – get any more madness than this march <laughs> when well, it comes, when it to, comes when it, to the basketball yeah yes yeah, so when it comes games. to basketball it's been crazy <laughs> march madness is crazy this year the final four uh we were talking before the show but we shouldn't bring up march madness uh, i can't believe you actually brought it up because both you and i were we're out well i don't i don't think we're the only two individuals out of this <laughs> uh, out of this bracket in fact i when somebody tells me they're still in i'm like how is that possible <laughs> exactly this year right. has been the this year has shown that there is uh that's what makes college basketball great though there it are is. no givens right that's, there's that's no exactly gimmies. right that's yeah. the nice part about just playing one game yeah you know, yeah you, you don't know is. who's going to end up winning it so exactly yeah. yeah it's uh you know not only that but uh again we're pretty busy here at the office yeah. um you know right you know it's hard to believe march is really already coming to an end here it's and, unbelievable. Uh, you know, we're already going into the second quarter. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, we're, we're definitely going to be busy. Usually the first and second quarter are pretty busy. And then it kind of, you know, as soon as, soon as summer kicks in, it gets a little bit lighter here for us. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to, uh, you know, just sitting down. And, of course, what we're going to talk about today is probably everyone's number one thing when they come into our office. And that is, you know, everyone wants to know, you know, how, how much money do I truly need? And uh, what, you know, what is my magic number? And here's the thing, everybody's different, right? Everyone right. has different income right. needs uh, in retirement. But I think one of the first things you really need to understand um, before we can kind of get into the income planning is you really kind of need to understand what your monthly expenses are going to be in retirement, right? Um, do you plan to downsize? You know, do you want to travel? Do you want to leave a legacy to your family? Um, and those are those are a lot of the questions that we ask. But at the end right. of the day, you know, when the paycheck stops, everything's going to be based upon how well you've planned and you know in order, you know, in order to to have a successful retirement plan. And 
you know, one of the first things I'm thinking we're going to dive into, and I think it's something that everyone realizes, and especially in 2022, and here we are in 2023, and that is inflation, right? You know, normally inflation averages around two to two and a half percent per year. I know the Fed's trying to get us down to back to that number. You know, in 2022, we were at eight percent. Now we're down probably between five and a half and six percent here in 2023. You know, and the Fed's doing all they can, whether it's right or wrong, the way they're doing it. <laughs> right. Uh, that's that's a, that's everyone's. You know, everyone can have a discussion on that part of it. Yeah, but but here's reality. Yeah, here's reality. You know, if you want to retire, and let's just say you want to retire today, Tony, and let's just, I'll use $50,000 as the initial, but if you want to retire today making $50,000 in order to cover your monthly expenses in retirement, you know, if you average 2.5%, just an inflation increase over time, you know, 10 years from now, that needs to be over $62,000. 22 years from now, it needs to be about $80,000. And 30 years from now, that needs to be over $100,000. So my point of it is, is a lot of people make the big mistake that I can retire earning what I make today. And they don't have a plan for that annual increase that you're going to need just in order to have the same spending power that you have today. Because we all want to have that same spending power, you know, 10, 20, 30 years from now, depending on how long you're actually going to be in retirement. Yeah, you don't want to take a pay cut. And you're talking about inflation. That's that's exactly right. You know, and everyone, you know, if you go back and look at, the, you know, the last year, right, we had over 8%, we had over an 8% inflation rate. Now, the, the nice part about it is if you were on Social Security, you received an 8.7%. But when you start developing income plans, I, I so many people just think that they can just stay at $50,000. Right. And that's just not the case. You have right. to have a plan where you're going to be able to get an annual increase every year uh, just so you can, you know, live. You don't want to be making $50,000 10 years from now or 15 no. years from now. So you got to no. make sure that you have a plan that's going to gradually increase that. And it's not just Social Security because Social Security, you know, hopefully it's going to only be anywhere from or an ideal situation. It's only about 40% of your income. Yeah, at um, most, yeah. Exactly, at most. But uh, And that's why it's so important to be able to work with an advisor in order to be able to plan with that. Yeah. Well, that's right. That's the ticket right there. You have to work with uh, a financial professional like yourself, a financial advisor, who's a fiduciary, who's going to look out for your best interest because uh, the trick is uh, how to at, figure out what goes in there. I mean, inflation, health care costs. So many people think I can do it on my own. I can do the math. I just need to make this amount each year. Well, they're not taking into consideration a lot of different things and they're not maximizing their income. There are strategies involved and that's what you do every day. Most of us will only retire once, but you do it every day with different people and your clients. So uh, you want to go with an expert, just like if you're going to have a brain surgery or open heart surgery, you want the best, right? That's exactly right. And I think that's why it's so important to work with a fiduciary. Just I mean, we're always going to have your best interest, you know, and yep. we're going to be able to work with you and and kind of show you what that income plan is going to look like. And I, I think one of the things people are afraid of is they're afraid to come in and meet with us the initial time is because they don't want to hear the bad news. I have to work a few, more, a few years longer because I didn't save enough. But here's what I would say is the earlier you can come in, we can actually show you where you are today, and there might be ways to be able to correct that in order to get to where you eventually want to get to. And if that means you have to work maybe one, two, or three years longer, then maybe that's the case. But right now, you are you know, you don't know what you need to do, and that's why it's so important to come in and sit down with us so we can develop you know, that financial plan and income plan for you so you can see where you are and where you're going to be you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 years from today as well. Wow. Yeah. And that's that's the ticket right there. I mean, you know, Corey, uh, we're talking before the show, the morning I've had <laughs> with computer troubles and yes. getting going this morning, uh, I thought about retiring today. <laughs> <laughs> but you told me, hey, you can't decide uh, uh, the day of. <laughs> you got to do some planning, right? That's that's exactly right. And, you know, one of the things I think it's very important, to, again, I think it's, it's good to come in and sit down and talk with an advisor about, and that is, you know, we talked about inflation. But another big key is is how all how all the assets that you saved are going to be taxed. 
you know, it's uh, not what taxes. you make, it's what you keep, right? So right. you want to be, you know, we always hear this, make sure you have a diversified portfolio. You hear that all the time. But in, in theory, the number one thing you have to have is a diversified asset base. You know, we've talked about this many times on, on our show, but you want to make sure that maybe you have some IRA money, you know, some Roth money, which would be tax free. And then you also want to have maybe even a brokerage account, which means you're only paying on the gains going forward. There's so many people out there that have done an excellent job saving, but it's all in your 401k or your IRA, which means you're going to be taxed on that as, as long as you live. And he, Everyone always says, well, I'm going to be in a lower tax bracket, you know, when I retire. And that's not the case. I see this all the time. Yeah. 80, you know, over 80% of my clients are probably in the same tax bracket, you know, while they were working that they're in. So, yep. so you can eliminate that. That's just an assumption that a lot of people do make. Now, there are going to be cases that that, that does take place, but in most cases it, it does not. So you need to really make sure that you're saving the right way. And that's why, again, it's so important to come in and sit down with us. So we can look at the way that you're saving to make sure it's going to be in your best interest. You know, the one thing that we try to do is, is, is be able to prepare you to have as much tax-free money in retirement that you possibly can. You know, the nice part about it is if it's tax-free and you take 50000 out, that's all you have to take out if that's all you need. But if it's an IRA, you know, and you're in a 20% tax bracket, you know, if, if you're taking out $100,000, you're only taking out it, you know, you're only going to get 80. So yeah, people don't think about that. They think, oh, I've got a hundred thousand dollars in that IRA I'm taking out over the year. And, uh, so I'm going to have that to live on. No, uh, you're, you're going to be paying about 20% of that to the federal government. So uncle Sam, it's a joint account. People don't understand that. And I'm glad you brought up taxes because, uh, at first, I think a lot of people are like, well, I thought you're talking about retirement income. What, what does taxes have to do with the money I've saved in retirement? It has everything to do with it. And it's That's probably one of the biggest factors that people don't know how to strategize. And again, you know, that old saying, you you just said it earlier, is it, it's not uh, how much you have, it's how much you keep, right? That's exactly right. You know, the yeah. interesting part about that, Tony, is when I ask someone, you know, what kind of income do they, what kind of monthly income are they bringing in today? You know what 90% of them tell me? What? The net amount. The yeah. Net of taxes, right? Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's, a, so it's the exact, everyone knows what they actually need to have in, you know, have on a monthly right. basis to pay their bills. And right. all of a sudden now, if you throw this IRA stuff on top of that, you have to take out more of that, more than that in order to get down to your number. So, yeah. so that's why it's so important to be able to work with an advisor to make sure you're saving the right way, to make sure you're diversified and make sure you're being as most, you know, the most tax efficient that you possibly can be with your retirement income for the future. Sure. Well, that's huge. And I'm glad you brought that up. You have to take into consideration taxes. You mentioned inflation, now taxes. And these are things you plan for with your clients. Now, before we move on, Corey, we should probably take a quick break here. Uh, number one, to let our listeners know how they can get a hold of you if they have questions or want to set up that complimentary consultation. If you'd like more information about what you hear during our show today, just give us a call at 614-760-0670 or visit us online at safeharboroh.com. And while you're on our website, click on that radio page. You can check out some past shows and subscribe to our program on Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, Google Podcast, or Spotify. Also, feel free to visit our YouTube page by typing in Safe Harbor Retirement Group to watch videos on different financial topics. And please don't hesitate to reach out to us with questions or if you want to set up a face-to-face -face or virtual meeting. And remember, all meetings are complimentary with no obligation. Well, Tony, we've really been, you know, kind of just talking about uh, inflation. You know, we talked about inflation. We talked about uh, being able to be tax efficient when we start talking about income planning. But, the, you know, the next thing I kind of want to talk about, which is really the foundation of income planning for retirement, that's Social Security, right? Right. So one, so one of the things that we can do for you, uh, for our listeners out there, is, you know, we can actually run a Social Security maximization report that's going to, be, you know, that's going to show you what's the best way for you to be able to maximize your Social Security benefits for retirement. The nice part about our, our software you know, if, if you're married, we can put together a, a strategy for both of you. You know, if you're uh, 
divorced or if you're a widow or widower, we can actually take that into account as well. And, you know, if you're receiving some type of state or government pension, we can also show you what that windfall is going to look like as well. Um, It's so important to be able to make sure that, you know, you, you take that benefit at the right time. And our report's going to be able to educate you so you can actually make the right decision, you know, for what's best for you and your family. It's, it's so important to be able to do that. You only get one shot at it. Just like you get one shot at retirement planning, in re- reality, you get one shot of being able to take your Social Security benefit. You just want to make sure that you're maximizing those benefits for your retirement planning. Right, because as you've mentioned on past shows, there's so many different strategies involved in filing for Social Security, filing strategies, uh, their spousal benefits to keep in mind, and there's ways to maximize it. So what's one of the ways uh, that people can maximize their Social Security? Obviously, when they file is a big deal, right? Yeah. I mean, you you know, you can file any, any age between six, any age or any month between the ages of 62 and 70, right? And, right. and of course, the, the longer you delay, the more you're going to get. Um, you know, you can get up to 132% more at, if you file at age 70 compared to if you're full retirement age is 66. So, so there, you know, if you actually think about that, um, there's, there's a lot of different months calculations yep. that we can actually, you know, look at, you know, for you. The other side of that is, 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 you know, are you married? Right. So one of the benefits that we can look at is, is your spousal benefit as well. You know, what's the best way to, for you to be able to maximize that, not only for you, but for your spouse. So that, that's something that I don't think a lot of people take into consideration. You know, we can always run the numbers, you know, basically um, what everyone wants to know, what is my break even age, right? It doesn't really yeah. matter. Your break even age is around 79 or 80. Yeah. So you can choose any, any year you want to. If you wake up at age 80, you probably should have chose, you probably should have chose taking your benefit at age 70. Because now you're you're losing money. So, and of course, you know if 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 we talk about a spouse, Tony, right? Yeah. If something happens to you and you're the main main earner, now your spouse gets the highest of hers or yours. So yep. by you taking yours early, that could have a huge impact on your spouse um, because now you know they're going to lose one Social Security payment check. So you want to be able to make sure that you're maximizing that or setting your you know your spouse up to make sure that they're going to have a successful retirement if you're not there for whatever reason. Yeah, but the answer is different for everybody. I mean, everybody's time horizon, what they need, when they need it. Um, Everybody's got a different sweet spot. And so uh, that's interesting. I I know that uh, those uh, take into account longevity uh, issues and family things and, and your full retirement age. And so that way, you know, I mean, so many people, I think, take it as soon as they can at 62 and you're taking a greatly reduced benefit at that amount, aren't you? Oh yes. You, you yeah. You're going to be losing over 30% of what you could receive at your full retirement age. Um, yeah. so, I mean, it, that's a, that's a big number. I know everybody wants to retire as early as possible. Believe me, I hear that a lot. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Uh, and, uh, but, but you also have to look at, you know, just because you retire at, at 60, if you want to retire at 62, you just need to have more savings. That's what it boils yeah. down to, because we know, as I talked about earlier, inflation is going to make need to make sure that you make more money as you go on. So you're either going to take it more out of your retirement account. You know, if you take if you file early, you're going to have to take more out. Or if you delay, you, there's a chance you might take less out of your retirement account over your retirement years as well. So that's why it's so important to lay that in financial plan down and come up with a solution just for you. Yeah. So what's what do you have for us next, Corey? You know, one of the strategies that we also use, I don't, this, these kind of go hand in hand together, but, you know, you always hear, well, how much money should I be able to take out of my account, uh, out of my retirement savings, right? A good rule yeah. of thumb is to take about 4% of whatever that value is. So if you have a million dollars, that means you can start out taking around $40,000 a year out. So, you know, if you have 100000 then you only can take out $4,000. And then you can increase that on an annual basis to keep up with inflation. That, and, if you, and a lot of times, if you do it that way, there's you know there's studies out there. You should be able to you know not outlive your income. So that's one part of it is taking that systematic withdrawal approach. Another thing that we also do here is we use what we also we also use what we call like a bucket strategy with your actual assets, right? 
So a bucket strategy means we might have one bucket, which is that one to three year period, which is we know we're going to have to give you income. We want that in lower risk type of investments because we know we're going to be giving you that certain amount of money over the next two to three years. Then you want another bucket that maybe that's that three to six or three to eight year range, somewhere like that. That's a little bit more aggressive, not super aggressive, but something that you can actually make money off of in the long run knowing that we don't need to have access to that for at least three years. And then you have that last bucket, which is what we call your growth bucket. And that growth bucket is going to be that eight years plus. It's going to be the most aggressive, you know, more stock oriented on that, on that side of it to be able to get that long-term growth in order to keep up with inflation as well. So I think using a bucket strategy is a great way to be able to um, pay your pay your monthly uh, you know, expenses now, but you also have to be able to get some of that long-term growth you know, for the future as well, Tony. So, and, and it sounds like, Corey, you mentioned it earlier and you're talking about it again now. You're, you're talking about asset allocation is, is what you're referring yes. to, right? Where your money is at and how it's working for you. I think that's a big part of this, isn't it? It's a big part of it. And a lot of that, you know, we talk about it all the time on the show, Tony, asset allocation, uh, your, your risk score to make sure that we're, you know, that you're, that, that make, you know, you want to make sure that your risk profile matches how you're invested. So that's some of the things that we're really talking about, but you want to be able to, you know, you just can't have everything sitting in a, in a savings account or a CD. I mean, at least they're paying a little bit better than they were, you know, a year ago from now, but but with an, you know, it's not even keeping up with inflation today. Now no. I know the market hasn't done that well either. But in the long run, you know, the market has always shown that it does come back. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and we've seen the volatility of banks lately too. So you do have to be careful that you don't have all your eggs in one basket. You don't want every cent in the market, and you don't want every cent in the bank. You want it to kind of spread out. And I know that's something you help your clients do, and that's a big part of income planning. It is. It's a huge part. And, you know, the last thing I kind of want to just talk about here, Tony, is, is, you know, we talked about being, you know, tax efficient, but you also want to be asset efficient too, right? So one of the things that we, that I would recommend for everybody and everyone has different percentage that we would put into it, but I, I, I firmly believe that everyone should put some money into a fixed indexed annuity. A fixed indexed annuity is going to be able to provide a guaranteed income stream in retirement. Um, And that's really all we're really talking about is you're creating your own pension. Um, No matter if the market goes up or if it goes down, you're going to have that same paycheck coming in month in and month out. It's going to be able to provide some some security. Um, You'll be able to sleep better at night knowing that you you have your social security, maybe a pension, and now you have your now, now you have your annuity coming in on a monthly basis to help cover your monthly expenses. Yeah, that's huge. And that's something that you also need. And, and that's a big part of it. So again, you want to diversify. Now we're almost out of time for today's show, Corey. Is there anything else you want to add before we go? You know, for our listeners out there, you know, I just highly recommend you pick up the phone. Give us a call at 614-760-0670 or visit our website at safeharboroh.com. We can sit down with you, review where you are today, put together, you know, a, a, a solid financial plan, income plan for you, you know, for your retirement. Um, if you don't have one, we'll put one in place. And again, if you do have one, there's nothing wrong with sitting down with a with an advisor to review where, where what you have to make sure that you're going to have a successful or a secure retirement as well. So all you have to do is give us a call at 614-760-0670 or just visit us online at safeharboroh.com to schedule that complimentary meeting with us. All right. Sounds good, Corey. And listeners, thanks for tuning in. That does it for today's episode of Financially Fit Radio. Join us again soon for another episode of Financially Fit Radio. Thank you for listening to Financially Fit Radio. Don't pay too much for taxes or retire without a sound income plan. For more information, contact Corey Sickles at Safe Harbor Retirement Group. 
call 614-760-0670 or visit their website at financiallyfitoh.com. Corey Sickles and Safe Harbor Retirement Group are not affiliated with or endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency. All matters discussed during this show are for informational purposes only. Each individual situation may vary and the opinions expressed here may not apply to everyone. Materials presented are believed to be from reliable sources and no representations can be made as to its accuracy. All ideas and information should be discussed in detail with one of our qualified representatives prior to implementation.